Check one, two. Good morning, Blittersburg. My name is Joy Ladipo, and these are your morning announcements. Hola, yo soy Jaciel Martinez. Um, Today is Thursday, May 6, 2021. The temperature outside is slightly chilly. The degrees is 58, with a potential high of 65 and a low of 44. Hoy es jueves 6 de marzo del año 2021. La temperatura para el día de hoy estará a 55 grados con un alto de 65 y bajo de 44 grados. Students, we need your help. Please remind your parents and complete your lunch form, which is located on our school's website. It is important that this information is updated every year. Estudiantes, ocupamos de su ayuda. Es muy importante que esta información sea actualizada cada año escolar. Les pedimos su cooperación en completar el formulario del almuerzo. El formulario, el formulario, formulario se puede llenar en la página web de la Escuela de Bladensburg. Your parents can reach out to Ms. Lee if they need help completing the form. Si ocupan ayuda con el formulario, Los padres de familia pueden contactar, contactar a la oficina principal con la señora Lee. Also, if any student needs a phone case or headphones, please visit C1125 to pick up one for Ms. Donald. Si algún estudiante le falta un protector para su Chromebook o audífonos, por favor visiten la señora Donald en la clase C1125. Attention, juniors and seniors. Do you need help with missing assignments, or do you need support understanding assignments? Atención, juniors y seniors. ¿Necesitan ayuda en completar sus tareas? If so, help is on the way. Starting today, there will be an ELO after school from 4.30 to 6.30 to offer support with missing or failing assignments. The sign up school form is posted on our school's website today. After you register, you will be able to join via Zoom or Google Classroom. To receive, to receive extra support, contact Dr. Bookhart for more information. Hoy comienza a las 4.30 4 p.m. la programa de, 
de ILO y concluye a las 6.30 pm. El programa de ILO ofrece apoyo para los estudiantes que necesitan apoyo con cualquier clase y, y tareas. Se pueden registrar en la página web de la escuela. Ninth and 10 graders, there is an ELO in place to support you as well. ELO stands for Extended Learning Opportunity. That's right. You can receive extra support on your assignments from school from 4.30 to 6.30. Reach out to Ms. Bobo or Mr. Bookhart for more information. Congratulations to the following students for winning the annual Write a Book Literary Competition. Atia Tariq, Poetry, 11th grade, first place. Aket Sali Hernandez Tapia, Short Story, 10th grade, second place. Guadalupe Lopez, Short Story, 11th grade, third place. And we would like to recognize Mr. Orandia, Mrs. Reed, Ms. Donalds, Ms. This is Felician So for supporting these amazing Mustangs and the realization of their incredible feat. Go Mustangs! This week we'll start the advanced placement exams on Friday, May 7th. We'll start the paper and pencil chemistry exam. This exam starts at 8 a.m. Please be at Bladensburg High School by 7.30 a.m. Report to the school auditorium on, second, on the second floor. All AP students should continue to practice on my AP site until your test date. Do not forget to go online and register for your AP exam. If you are taking the digital exam later this month, registering for your exam is a must. Attention all clubs and sports. Please be sure to submit a group photo to Mrs. Warley for the yearbook as soon as you can. We thank all of our incredible educators for everything that they do for us, and we continue to celebrate them for their brilliance and sacrifice. Happy teacher appreciation. You guys deserve it. Seniors, we are almost there. Be sure to purchase your cap and gown as soon as possible, or email Ms. Boyd. Uh, Last days for seniors is next week, May 14th. Congratulations, we're a week and a few days there. Senior checkout day is May 19th and graduation is June 2nd at 9 a.m. at the University of Maryland. It is Asian Heritage Month. We continue to stand with our Asian Mustangs and Asians around the world to condemn the hateful rhetoric and actions against the Asian community. Thank you for that. In sports yesterday, sophomore softball game against Suitland has been rescheduled to May 16th, and baseball game against Friendly High School has been rescheduled to May 10th. In, de en deportes, el juego de softball de ayer contra Suitland ha, ha sido reprogramado para el 26 de mayo, y el juego de baseball contra Friendly High School programado para el 10 de mayo. The boys lacrosse team beat Duval yesterday 7 to 1. Go Mustangs. These have been your morning announcements. Have a terrific Thursday. Bye. My name is Mosaurai. After high school, I plan to go into community college. Hello, I'm Anna Higabara, and I am going to Stevenson University. Thankfully, they're giving me five scholarships, and I will be majoring in nursing, hopefully to become a nurse practitioner. 
Hi, my name is Adrina Namarembe. Um, after high school, I plan to continue my career in the military. I also plan to attend Georgia State University. I will be majoring in biology in hopes to become a pharmacist. Hi, my name is Carlos Vasquez. I'm in the CTE program Carpentry at Bladensburg High School. After high school, I would like to gain further work experience in construction or plumbing. And then I would also like to start my own EDP team for soccer and coach younger children into becoming great players and um, see where it goes from there. Hi, my name is Jonathan Beer and I'm part of the CTE program at Bladensburg High School. I've recently been accepted to Prince George's County uh, Community College and I'm planning to uh, continue studying in carpentry and continue in electrical. And I have dreams of having my own company to be able to succeed in life. Hello, my name is Alexander Velez Marquez and after graduating high school, one of the three E's I will be doing is employ. I'm hoping to pursue a career in acting, criminology, or writing, whichever one comes first. But yeah. Hi, my name is Maria and I'm 19 years old. Right now, I'm currently in the nursing program, and when I graduate from high school, I probably plan on going to the University of Maryland. I'm not really sure, like for sure yet, but for right now, those are my plans, but yeah, it just depends where life takes me. Hi, my name is Naya Machu. I go to Bladensburg High School. I got accepted into the Prince George's County Apprenticeship Program. After high school, I will be joining the United States Marine Corps. Hi, I'm Jimena from the CTE Evening High School program, and I attend the CNA program here at Bladensburg. And once I finish high school in June, I plan to attend PGCP Community College to finish my studies. Hello, my name is Gennaro Mendes. I'm currently working as a mechanic. I plan to use my electrical training to improve my, mechanic, my mechanical work. Hello, my name is Jesus Sabar. I plan to further my education in, techno in electrical technology and for I enjoying the local 26 IBEW. My name is Jason Reyes, and I plan to be a father of multiple beautiful, happy children and retire a happy man. Now, in order to do this, I will have to study and get into an apprenticeship and eventually become a master's electrician and possibly even own my own company. And that's what I plan to do. Hi, I'm Bright Ojo. Um, I plan to go to the University of Maryland, Eastern Shore, after and study um, electrical engineering after high school. Thank you. Hello, my name is Martin Vicente. I plan to go to a trade school. I plan to enroll in IAC apprenticeship and become a master electrician and eventually become a project manager. Hi, I'm Scott. Um, I always knew I was going to enroll um, in college. I knew that I wanted to go to college because I just I grew up watching a different world, which is probably too young for your generation but I grew up watching a different world and I was like oh I gotta go to college and if I want opportunities the opportunities I want for myself I have to go to college so I did that and at the time I was going to college for homeland and corporate security but here I am an English teacher because I went back afterwards and was like mm, I don't want to work for the government I think I want to teach and I just changed my mind and that's what I did. So I got another degree in um, teaching. And that just goes to show like, if you try something and you don't like it, you can change direction. <laughs>